Hi, happy Thanksgiving to all of my friends here on Thoughtful Thursday. I think we renamed it this week for Thoughtful Thankful Thursday because um, we're kind of creative that way. <laughs> um, I'm so grateful to be with you today. I think when I started these Thoughtful Thursdays back in April, I thought it was just a way for us to connect. Um, maybe if some thoughts were rummaging around in my head, maybe they were the same thoughts rummaging around in your head, and maybe by sharing those thoughts and connecting, we could get through some of this difficult time. Who knew? that it would be Thanksgiving and I would still be connecting with you in this Thoughtful Thursday. But these weeks have been so special to me. Um, gives me really a chance, especially these last four weeks, really a chance to be um, so intentional about my gratitude. Um, really wondering and thinking and meditating on and um, reaching out to people um, to say thank you. Um, and really spending some amazing time with God just in um, really sheer gratitude for what God has done um, in my life and in the life of the people around me. So this week, as I thought about um, our Thanksgiving um, week and maybe all of the things that we've been grateful for these last couple weeks, um, so many scriptures were coming to mind and um, I love music and music speaks to my soul. So sometimes most of the time when I read scripture or think about things of God, um, songs also pop into my head. So I thought maybe today I would just share with you some of those um, songs and scriptures and thoughts, um, and hopefully this um, blesses your Thanksgiving celebrations um, or gives you an opportunity to just um, reflect on the, moment, the meaning of this time of the year. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Psalm 9 says, I'm thanking you, God, from a full heart. I'm writing the book on your wonders. I'm whistling, laughing, and jumping for joy. I'm singing your song, Hi God. Now thank we all our God with hearts and hands and voices whose wondrous things have done in whom this world rejoices who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. First Thessalonians chapter five says, be cheerful no matter what, pray all the time. Thank God no matter what happens. This is the way God wants you who belong in Christ Jesus to live. We thank thee then, O oh Father, for all things bright and good, the seed time and the harvest, our life, our health, our food. No gifts have we to offer, for all thy love impart. But that which thou desirest, our humble, thankful hearts. I think one of the people I would like to meet, of course, um, maybe after Jesus, but um, is Paul. I think that Paul really speaks from the heart, and I love when he writes to his friend and um, his mentee, um, Timothy. And in 2 Timothy 1, he says this. He says, every time I say your name in prayer, which is practically all the time, I thank God for you, the God I worship with my whole life in the tradition of my ancestors. 
I miss you a lot, especially when I remember that last tearful goodbye and I look forward to a joy-packed reunion. Maybe we're missing family this year. Maybe we're not sitting around the table with the folks that we're used to sitting around the table with. Um, um, but yet we can be thankful. We can be thankful for technology and thankful um, that we have had these people in our lives. For the beauty of the earth, for the glory of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lie. Lord of all, to thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. For the joy of human love, brother, sister, parent, child, friends on earth and friends above, for all gentle thoughts and mild. Lord of all, to thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise. Psalm 107 verse 1 says this, it says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever came across this reflection in the last week or so, um, written by Jan Richardson. And so I just thought I would share it with you because sometimes other people have great words um, to pour into us. She says, the author of this psalm remembers what the people of the Exodus, like us, sometimes forget. That the anecdote to grumbling is gratitude. Offering thanks to God doesn't mean ignoring or glossing over the presence of difficulty or suffering around us or even within us. But cultivating a practice of gratitude sharpens our ability to perceive the presence of God in the midst of it. It sharpens our ability to perceive the presence of God even in the midst of our struggling. Thankfulness for what God has done for us out of nothing but God's sheer and steadfast love for us helps dispose us towards recognizing what God is seeking to do even now. And it opens us to, up to participate in what God is working to bring about in our lives and in our world. That think, makes me think of Romans 8.28, where it reminds us that in all things, God is working for good for those who love him. Give thanks to the Lord, our God and King. His love endures forever. For he is good, he is above all things. His love endures forever. Sing praise. Sing praise, sing praise, sing praise. Mm. Listen to these words from Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is good. It is he who made us and we are his. We are the people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues to all generations. I know it's Thanksgiving and I know some folks don't even want to think about Christmas until Thanksgiving is over, but I came across this really cool little song on the internet and I just want to share it with you. So hopefully it works 
as a bridge to our two seasons. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Come in his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Because the Lord is good, because the Lord is good. Verses 4 and 5, Psalm 100. Let's do that again. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Come in his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Because the Lord is good. Because the Lord is good. Verses 4 and 5. Psalm 100. Let's use this time to come together. Even though we're connected through this screen, we know that prayer connects us um, to God and to each other. So let's pray together. Holy God, we come to you at this time with a full heart. Some of our hearts are full of singing and whistling, and some of our hearts are full of crying and grieving. But we all try to come to you at this th season of Thanksgiving, thanking you, thanking you for no matter what, because that is how you want us to live. Lord, we thank you for all the blessings that you have already given us, for food, for shelter, for, for life itself. We thank you for the people you have set in front of us, that you have set to walk with us. We thank you for those who are close by. We thank you for those who are far away. And we thank you for those people that you have already called home with you. Lord, we spend this time thanking you so much for your faithfulness, for never giving up on us, for always being our biggest fan, and for standing with us, for standing behind us, above us, and in front of us through the good and the bad times of our life. Lord, we give you praise and thanks for who you are, the great I am, our friend, our savior, our comforter, our guide, the God who loves and loved us so much that you sent us Jesus Christ, the gift that we will spend our entire lives giving thanks for. Lord, we love you and we thank you. We love you and we thank you. Lord, we love you and we thank you. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>